Who is intellectually ahead, white or black people? From the era of slavery to now, scientific racism has been used to spread false reports that black people are intellectually inferior. This was done to justify their capture and trade, using them as a labor-producing commodity. However, if the truth had been told that they were equally intelligent, and in some cases, more smart than their white masters, the entire slave-master relationship would have been very different. White masters would turn into slaves because, on average, they were less smart and intelligent than the black slaves they owned. This misconception continues to this day, where black people are still considered less smart than white people. If you think the same, perhaps you don't know about the most intelligent and genius black people. The media has always portrayed black people in less intelligence requiring careers, further proving the false theory. So what are the most genius black people that have proven this wrong? Welcome to a new episode of Black Africa Diary, a channel where we talk about black African history, culture, arts, and civilization. It's a place where you will see the real picture of black Africa, its stories, and the events defining it. In this episode, we will tell you about the 20 most intelligent people of all time who are way smarter than white scientists. Let's get started. Number 20. Anala Beavers. Smartness is not limited to only adults when it comes to black people. Anala Beavers, from New Orleans, displays an extraordinary intellect, boasting an IQ exceeding 145 by the age of five. You should know that Albert Einstein had an IQ score of 160. This makes her one of the few individuals to have such a high IQ score, despite being only five. Her extraordinary talents emerged early, demonstrating a remarkable aptitude for learning as she mastered the alphabet at just four months old. By the time she reached 18 months, Anala was already proficiently reciting numbers in both Spanish and English. Yes, she really was a genius in the making. Impressively, by her fifth birthday, she had memorized the names of every North American state, along with their respective capitals. Despite these unprecedented accomplishments, her father, Landon Beavers, expresses concerns about the limited educational options available to Anala locally, striving to maintain a well-rounded upbringing despite her exceptional intellect. Later, Anala Beavers received an invitation to join Mensa, an esteemed organization composed of individuals with exceptional intellects, placing her among the top 1% of humanity in terms of cognitive abilities. Number 19, Cache Quest. Born to a Native American mother and an African American father in Los Angeles County, California, Cache gained entry into American Mensa at the astonishing age of two becoming the organization's youngest member. It attracted attention from worldwide, and people were curious to know more about this little cute girl with extraordinary intelligence. Well, Cash's intellectual sense was evident early on, showcasing advanced linguistic skills and comprehension by the age of 18 months. Cash's intellectual abilities extend beyond language. She has mastered Spanish, American Sign Language, and possesses extensive knowledge spanning geography, government, and science. Her outstanding capacity to recall every state in the United States, continent, governmental department, and element on the periodic table highlights her exceptional memory and cognitive capacity from a very young age. Number 18, Caleb Anderson. Caleb truly is an extraordinary child. By the tender age of three, Caleb Anderson had already etched his name in history books as the youngest African-American male to be welcomed into Mensa, marking the beginning of his journey as a remarkably intelligent individual. His extraordinary talents were evident right from the start, showcasing a natural aptitude for absorbing and retaining information. Even as a newborn, Caleb displayed signs of advanced cognitive development, astonishing his family by mimicking speech patterns as early as four weeks old. This meant that not only he was able to listen, but also process and speak, breaking all the age limitations. By the time he reached three, Caleb had secured a coveted spot in Mensa, a prestigious society reserved for those scoring in the top 2% on IQ tests. Caleb's linguistic prowess extended to languages like Mandarin, Spanish, French, American Sign Language, and English, illustrating his exceptional proficiency from a young age. Despite his academic feats, Caleb faced challenges from his teenage peers, who struggled to grasp or acknowledge his extraordinary abilities. Yet Caleb remained determined in his pursuit of knowledge, achieving high school graduation at the remarkable age of 11. He continued his academic journey at Chattahoochee Technical College, driven by a desire to make a lasting impact 
Number 17. Romarni Wilfred. Romarni Wilfred emerged as a prodigious talent, surpassing most intelligent white figures like Albert Einstein, Bill Gates, and Stephen Hawking by the age of 11. With an astounding IQ score of 162, Romarni earned acclaim as a genius and earned the title of the brightest boy in London. His exceptional intellect shone from an early age, displaying a keen interest in academic pursuits and outshining his peers even in preschool. By the age of 10, Romarni had garnered recognition for a paper on justice theory, showcasing wisdom beyond his years. Despite his scholarly achievements, Romarni found joy in everyday activities like playing with his dog and reading comic books. Number 16. Alana George. Alana George, assessed by educational psychologist Dr. Peter Condon, was identified as an intellectual prodigy at the age of four, boasting an IQ of 140. Alana's remarkable abilities included self-taught reading skills and advanced comprehension levels surpassing her peers. With a deep passion for letters and numbers, Alana exhibited early literacy skills even before formal education began. By four years old, she had become the second youngest member of Mensa, impressing evaluators with her cognitive prowess. Experts recommended adjustments to Alana's schooling to maintain her engagement, leading to modifications at St. George's School in Windsor Castle. Number 15, Philip M. Iguali. Philip M. Iguali is often called the Bill Gates of Africa. However, surprisingly, he is much more intelligent than Bill Gates. Born in Nigeria in 1954, Philip had a natural interest in technology, math, and computers. Despite facing financial struggles that forced him to drop out of school at 14, his father was determined to ensure he received an education at home. He earned a scholarship to Oregon State University, where he earned a Bachelor of Science in Mathematics, followed by a PhD in Scientific Computing from the University of Michigan. In 1989, he made history by creating the world's fastest computer, the supercomputer, capable of performing 3.1 billion calculations per second. His contributions extended to enhancing productivity in oil fields and saving the United States significant sums each year. Therefore, Ime Aguali's achievements garnered him prestigious awards like the Gordon Bell Prize and the Nobel Prize for Computation. His computer systems are now vital in weather forecasting and predicting global warming trends. Number 14. George Washington Carver. Carver was born into slavery in 1864, yet he made groundbreaking contributions to agriculture, soil restoration, and peanut cultivation. Following the Civil War, Carver and his brother James learned to read and write, with Carver immersing himself in the study of botany, earning him the nickname, the plant doctor. Even though studying was made very difficult for slaves, Carver managed to read whatever he could lay his hands on, Later, he enrolled in the botany program at Iowa State University, becoming the first African-American to achieve bachelor's and master's degrees in science. Booker T. Washington offered him a prestigious role at Tuskegee University in Alabama, where Carver made significant impacts until his death in 1943. Carver's research laid the groundwork for crop rotation techniques, replenishing soil nitrogen levels post-harvest. He advocated for the planting of soybeans, peanuts, and sweet potatoes to enrich soil quality and provide plentiful food sources. Carver also pioneered permaculture techniques using carbon to boost crop growth and tackle climate change. Number 13. Percy Julian. Julian is a distinguished chemist celebrated for his advancements in cortisone, steroids, and birth control. However, he faced discrimination early in his career. Born in Alabama, he excelled academically, graduating as valedictorian from DePaul University in Indiana. Despite earning master's and doctorate degrees from prestigious institutions like Harvard and the University of Vienna, racial prejudice obstructed his path to a professorship. Undeterred, Julian served as laboratory director at Glidden Company, where he developed AeroFoam, a soy-based foam used to extinguish oil and gas fires. In 1954, he founded Julian Laboratories, becoming one of the first black millionaires. Julian's lasting impact includes the establishment of the Julian Research Institute, where he continued his groundbreaking work until his passing in 1975. Despite facing adversity, Julian's contributions to science remain significant, though they are not widely acknowledged. Before we continue further, tell us, are you enjoying the video? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on Black Africa. Let's continue now. Number 12, May Carol Jemison. May Carol Jemison, alongside six other astronauts, made history as the first black woman to journey into space aboard the Space Shuttle Endeavor. 
Arising from Decatur, Alabama, she showcased outstanding academic ability, earning a sought-after National Achievement Scholarship to Stanford University. Additionally, she acquired her medical degree from Cornell University Medical College and practiced medicine at the University of Southern California Medical Center. Jemison's aspiration to become an astronaut was sparked during her service as a medical officer for the Peace Corps in Sierra Leone and Liberia. In 1987, she shattered barriers by becoming the first black woman accepted into the astronaut program. Throughout her space mission, she conducted investigations on motion sickness and weightlessness, even making a guest appearance on an episode of Star Trek, The Next Generation, number 11, Katherine Johnson. Catherine was a pioneering mathematician and was at the forefront of black women entering the scientific domain at NASA. Her journey began at West Virginia State College in 1939, where she blazed trails as the institution's inaugural black student. Following a break to raise a family, she joined the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics in 1953 before transitioning to NASA. Johnson's critical role in NASA's space task group involved co-authoring engineering papers and participating in mission debriefings. She played a crucial role in essential missions such as Freedom 7 and Friendship 7, ensuring the safe passage of astronauts Alan B. Shepard Jr. and John Glenn into space. Johnson's brilliance and pioneering spirit persist, even after her passing in 2020 at the age of 101. Number 10. Gladys West. Being an expert mathematician, she is celebrated for her invaluable contributions to the development of the Global Positioning System, GPS. Despite facing prejudice and gender bias, she pursued her educational aspirations, earning both bachelor's and master's degrees in mathematics by 1956. Employed as a mathematician at the U.S. Naval Proving Ground, she collaborated with her future husband, Ira V. West. West's responsibilities included manual problem solving and computer programming, which were crucial for projects related to Pluto and Neptune, as well as managing a U.S. Navy ocean surveillance satellite initiative. Often overlooked due to her race and gender, West is an unrecognized figure in the scientific community. She holds advanced degrees in public administration and has received numerous awards, including the Prince Philip Medal and induction into the U.S. Air Force Hall of Fame. Number nine, Marie M. Daly. Born in 1921 in New York City, Marie M. Daly is called the Black Marie Curie. She established herself as a scientist in a family that valued education highly. Inspired by her father's determination to study chemistry at Cornell University, despite financial challenges, Daly set her sights on pursuing chemistry in college. Throughout her career, Daly conducted impactful research as a biochemist with a focus on cholesterol and histones, making significant contributions to the understanding of DNA organization. Additionally, she served as a professor at universities and advocated for increased diversity within the scientific community. Daly established a scholarship at Queens College in honor of her father. She passed away on October 28, 2003. Number 8. Edward Boucher. Edward Boucher was born on September 15, 1852 in New Haven, Connecticut. He distinguished himself as an outstanding student who graduated as the valedictorian of his high school class. Coming from a prominent African-American family in New Haven, his parents aimed for him to attend Yale College, a school that had never admitted an African-American student before. Upon graduating in 1874, he became the first African-American elected into the Academic Honor Society Phi Beta Kappa, though his membership was delayed due to Yale's inactivity for several years. Boucher continued his academic journey at Yale by enrolling in graduate school where he earned his doctorate in physics in just two years by 1876. Despite being the first African-American to earn a PhD from a U.S. institution, Boucher faced significant racial barriers in pursuing a career as a research scientist. As a result, he dedicated the majority of his career to teaching and administrative roles within segregated African-American schools. Number seven, Annie J. Easley. Annie was born in 1933 in Birmingham, Alabama, and gained prominence as a distinguished mathematician who faced discrimination in the STEM field. Raised by Samuel and Mary Easley, she initially pursued nursing before transitioning to pharmacy. After completing her studies at Xavier University in New Orleans, she returned to Birmingham, serving as a substitute teacher in Jefferson County, Alabama. Easley also contributed to preparing literacy tests for voter registration, despite their biased intent to disenfranchise African Americans from voting rights. In 1954, Easley moved to Cleveland, Ohio, 
where she encountered an article about twin sisters working as human computers at the Aircraft Engine Research Laboratory, later known as NASA. Inspired, she applied and began her 34-year tenure with NASA as a computer scientist and mathematician. Her strong work ethic and high school graduation prepared her to handle complex equations adeptly. Initially, one of only four African-American employees in NASA's computational section, easily played a key role in space research and missions, including astronaut John Glenn's 1962 launch. Easley's passing in 2011 marked the completion of her incredible journey, yet her legacy lives on, inspiring students to pursue impactful careers in the STEM field. Number six, Walter Lincoln Hawkins. Walter is an American chemist and engineer, standing out as a pioneer in polymer chemistry. Spending 34 years at Bell Laboratories, Hawkins played a vital role in developing durable plastics for sheathing telephone wires, expanding telephone access, especially in rural areas. His groundbreaking research and support for minority students earned him recognition. In 1973, Hawkins assumed the chairmanship at Montclair State University. Among his numerous awards, he received the National Medal of Technology from President George H.W. Bush shortly before his passing in 1992. Notably, Hawkins made history as the first African-American elected to the National Academy of Engineering in 1975. Number five, Alexa Kennedy. Alexa was born in 1950 in Lansing, Michigan, and achieved a significant milestone as the first female African-American neurosurgeon in the United States. She was also the inaugural African-American woman certified by the American Board of Neurological Surgery. Specializing in pediatric neurosurgery, she rose to the position of director of neurosurgery at a leading children's hospital in the nation. Kennedy began her medical journey at the University of Michigan, earning a degree in zoology in 1971, where her passion for medicine was ignited during her undergraduate years. Continuing her studies at the University of Michigan's College of Medicine, she completed her residency in neurosurgery at the University of Minnesota. After a fellowship in pediatric neurosurgery at the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, Kennedy returned to Michigan and joined the neurosurgery department at Detroit's Henry Ford Hospital. Number four, Benjamin Banneker. Benjamin was one of the pioneering African-Americans in science. Impressively, he acquired his knowledge of arithmetic and astronomy through self-study. His keen observation of astronomical phenomena allowed him to predict a solar eclipse accurately in even 1789. Banneker's mathematical prowess facilitated his analysis of celestial motions, including those depicted on the MUA constellation globe. Beyond his scientific pursuits, Banneker vocally advocated for equality, challenging notions of racial superiority in a letter to Thomas Jefferson. Commissioned by Jefferson to contribute to the mapping of Washington, D.C., Banneker's legacy resonates in both scientific advancement and social justice. Number three, Charles R. Drew. Charles R. Drew is a prominent surgeon and African-American scientist who is famous for his groundbreaking contributions to the field of medicine. Born in Washington, D.C., Drew excelled both academically and athletically, earning an athletic scholarship before serving as a biology professor and football coach at Morgan College. He pursued further studies at McGill University in Canada, graduating at the top of his class and receiving acclaim for his contributions to transfusion medicine. Drew's innovative method for the long-term storage of blood plasma, developed during his time at Presbyterian Hospital in New York City, proved invaluable during World War II. Despite facing racial segregation, Drew emerged as the first director of the American Red Cross's blood bank. While his life was tragically cut short in a car accident in 1950, his pioneering legacy in medicine endures, dispelling false rumors surrounding his demise. Number two, Daniel Hale Williams. Daniel, a renowned surgeon, is celebrated for his groundbreaking achievements in performing one of the earliest successful open-heart surgeries and establishing the first interracial hospital. Before venturing into medicine, Williams apprenticed as a shoemaker and worked as a barber, ultimately finding his true passion in serving others. After graduating from Chicago Medical College, he founded Provident Hospital in 1891, a landmark achievement as the inaugural interracial hospital in the United States. This revolutionary institution provided crucial medical care to black patients and served as a training ground for aspiring black physicians and nurses. Williams received further acclaim for his outstanding feat in conducting an open heart surgery that resulted in the patient's survival for two decades. Later, in 1894, he assumed the role of chief surgeon at Freedman's Hospital in Washington, D.C., 
where he played a crucial role in its redevelopment and expansion, introducing vital services like ambulance facilities and medical training for black students. Number one, Lonnie Johnson. Johnson is a NASA engineer and inventor and is widely recognized for his contributions to the toy industry, notably for creating iconic toys such as Nerf guns and super soakers. Influenced by his father's expertise in electrical currents and household appliance repair, Johnson developed a passion for innovation from a young age. In 1989, Johnson made history with his invention of the Super Soaker Squirt Gun, which generated over $200 million in sales and became a beloved toy worldwide. What do you think? Are black people more intelligent and genius than white people? Why are black people portrayed as less intelligent to this day? In the comment section right below, share your thoughts on these most intelligent black people and whether you already knew them. Do you wanna watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We bring videos on black Africa, its history, rich arts and culture, and things the world should know about. Thanks for watching and until the next video, stay tuned.